And welcome back to the WHHI Daily News. Angie Stone has joined us. She's assistant town manager for the town of Hilton Head. Good to have you with us. I'm thrilled to be here. On this holiday week. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's so busy this time of year. I know, and that's why you're here, because the town has a whole myriad of activities coming up, starting with this Saturday. We actually. absolutely do, yes. Um, so this year, the, the station number three, which is near the mm -hmm. Presbyterian Church Mid-Island, has historically been lit up all uh, through the holiday season. Well, this year they're kicking it off with an official lighting, and that's this Saturday, uh, okay. the 26th, um, from, or excuse me, the, the 25th, 25th, right? Yes, uh, from five to seven, the lights will be turned on at six, but there'll okay. be treats and cocoa and um, well, of course, fun. Santa will be around. Right, of yeah. course. <laughs> okay, so that's this Saturday, the 25th. And then on the tree lighting, the official tree lighting will be on December the 1st. Yes, our second annual uh, Christmas tree lighting will be down at Low Country Celebration Park. Mm -hmm. And that um, will run from 5.30 to 7.30 on the 1st. And we'll have local bands. Uh, we'll have lots of Christmas treats. Santa will be there again. He will come in on a fire engine and be available mm -hmm. for kids to chat with um, him. So having a, a, an annual tree light, it's the second one, why, do, why is it so important in the town to have an official tree lighting? Well, it does wonders for, um, I think, community morale to have our own tree lighting, our own Hallmark moment, right. if that's I can say I was, that. I was right? thinking it, about it the really Hallmark is. movies, um, and they're always a tree lighting. And that's what we envision, yeah. and, and so that's what this is. Yeah. We'll have the nonprofits out there to right. remind folks that during this time, there are so many others who are in need and, and give folks an opportunity to give back. Okay. as well. Okay, very and then good. Uh, that will be followed on the 7th by the menorah lighting, okay. which is the kickoff of Hanukkah, will be right. the first night of Hanukkah. Okay. And that will also be down at Low Country Celebration Park um, beginning at 530. So talking about um, Celebration Park, Low Country Celebration Park, I mean, it has, it was a, a, a ways in, in a while in the making. And but now that it's here, it has just been an amazing venue for the town and for our large, you know, the, the island, the, the whole community. It truly has. Um, this past weekend, we ended the Lantern Parade yes. at Low Country Celebration Park, and it was amazing. It gave the opportunity uh, for folks who were differently able, so folks who right. were not able to get down onto the beach, beach, but they could be in the park and be able to interact with those large puppets and see the parade come in. And so it was really a, a great venue and a great opportunity for the whole community to participate in that wonderful event. And it's, 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 and it's in a good location. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's an opportunity for folks to, to come down, and, and as you said, to the beach, but if you can, and, and I heard this year, I was not there this year, but I heard it was wild. Yes. I mean, so I'm thinking the town is going to have to maybe even rethink parking or something. Uh, I Because it was just, I mean, it's become like heritage. I mean, I would say heritage is huge, mm -hmm. but I think this has become also as big as heritage, if not bigger, Angie. It truly has. <laughs> um, we have grown every year exponentially. And so we will be taking a look at all the things that went well this weekend, <laughs> right. which were, there were so many. It was, it was a wonderful experience. And we'll be taking a look at the opportunities for improvement for next year. I know that um, there were some traffic uh, sort of snares, and there was a lot of there were a lot of people down there. I know. Well, but. folks, it started. Yeah, I think you gathered at the beach at five, and so folks were thinking, "Well, I can you know drive down about four thirty, whatever." <laughs> but well, you'll figure it out. We I'm will sure. figure it out. Absolutely. But it was. Uh, but it's a it's good, really, pro wonderful. Uh, issue to have. Absolutely. It's just such a blessing. And then one other event yes. I wanted to mention is um, at Fire Station number four, which is on Squire Pope Road, we'll be having um, an event there with a movie night and um, folks can come out on set, on uh, December 16th okay. and that will, um, that will be in the evening. Um, down there. I don't have the time on that one. I'm sorry, but if you want more information on that, go, go, go to, the to yes, the town website, HiltonHeadIslandSC.gov, right. and uh, there's <laughs> lots more information there. And their communications director, as you know, is Andrew Davis, who used to be with WSAV. I was just sharing with Andrew. I mean, it was such a coup to get to get him because he's such a great communicator. And, oh, truly, and um, great asset to to the town. We're so happy to have him. I he know. really is a, a 
a huge asset to us, and um, we were very fortunate to be able to get him. So on the website, you get all this information. Yes. And uh, just come out and enjoy um, this beautiful town of Hilton Head. Angie Stone, the assistant town manager. Thank, thank you, you, Angie, and happy Thanksgiving to you. You as and well. And I'll see you back in December. Great. All thank right. you. Okay. And we'll be right back with more WHHI Daily News. Don't go away.